from the Romans, we actually have the legacy of the creation of the school system. They are the ones that actually gave us that foundation. And from the Greeks, what we have is the legacy of the communication. But somehow along the way, we seem to have lost that ability to communicate in the Socratic way of making people to think for themselves, of getting people to actually use their minds. And when we think about it, you know, from the Greeks, we had that uh, discovery process of the mind. From the Romans, we had the oration. We had the discourse. And when you put both of those together, that's something that now we need to understand how to bring this back. We need to understand how we can communicate in a much more effective way, but at the same time, how we can allow each and every individual their ability to think for themselves and their connection to themselves. And we've seen from the ancient world what we need to bring in. And even along the way through history, there are so many good points that we can take and bring to now and, and really integrate with the modern, because we have the modern world now. We have artificial intelligence. We have all types of devices. We are living through a virtual world most of the time. And now how do we get back to nature? How do we get back to the ancient and how do we connect it together? So the role of educators in today's society is really to help the learners to understand themselves, to help them to understand how they learn and to really bring across knowledge of what the brain is doing in the learning process and how to get the best out of the learning process. As educators of today, we have to understand how to bring our learners into a faster, more efficient learning process. We have to understand that the world is getting faster. We need to keep uh, the brain connected into new technology, new developments, new topics. And the educator of today has to understand how to communicate in a very efficient way, how to get the best of the learner, and how to bring the best for tomorrow. So as you can see, we've, we've traveled through time. We've been to ancient Rome. We've seen where education started. We've moved through time and we've come into the modern technology. We've seen how that is impacting our lives. And you know, the Dalai Lama is saying that, you know, we have to train our minds. We have to bring together what is the compassion of being a human, the neuroscience where we know that we're wired to be connected, plus this understanding of how to train the mind. And how can we bring together the old, the ancient, together with the new, and how can we connect it with the nature, and how can we save what is the planet, as well as ourselves, as well as embracing that new technology and moving forward? We have some amazing projects in the world. We have some amazing educators who are bringing in mindfulness to schools. We have children doing projects in nature. We have children working with technology, you know, smartphones, iPhones, iPads. They're using them as if they are normal practice. They are. Nowadays, we have to embrace everything. We have to understand how we can take the good from everything that we've done and how we can connect it with everything that is coming forwards. And, you know, I think that the educators to, of today really are the ones with the power to change tomorrow. <laughs>